Hey guys, it's Anne. Welcome to the channel. And today we're going to be looking in on my three red wiggler bins. Now, all three of them are at a different stage in their development. They all have about the same amount of worms. There's about a pound, pound and a half in here, maybe a little bit more. They're all being raised on my prepared paper bedding. And this one here is the uh, closest to completion. So, I will put the specifics down below for you, but we're going to take a look at this guy, kind of fluff around, see what's going on. No, I didn't remember to look at the videos, but uh, I can tell straight up that this one is definitely more done. So let's look and see what we've got. Looks like we've got some uh, little pumpkin seedlings here. I can try to save them. We'll see. Uh, let's kind of just move things over here. This part on the top was a bit dry. I have been having a problem with these bins being too wet because it is 60% humidity in the basement right now. And I'm telling you, it, it, getting anything to dry out down here is just going to be like pulling teeth. It is not going to be easy. So let's look and see what they've got here. Um, I will go ahead and put a picture below of what the feeding was because I don't I don't really remember, uh, but I can kind of smell a little citrus, um, so we'll just kind of gather up the food if we find anything. looks a little bit like a piece of orange, but the springtail population is super happy. It's 69 degrees here in the basement, um, so spring is finally decided to stay, and uh, you know, it's... 65 degrees outside and, you know, 68 degrees inside. Still feels pretty muddy in here. I'm seeing what looks to be remnants of food, but I really don't know what it is. Maybe some kind of melon or something. But it looks like these guys definitely need to uh, start maybe migrating. So I think that is where we're going to go with this. We are going to start the migration of these worms um, out of here. So let me go ahead and whoop, everybody get back in the bin. So let's, let's pile everything up towards this one side. And then I will grab some bedding. Put this dry stuff down here. Okay, so this is bedding that is specially prepared for the red wigglers um, using their own castings, shredded cardboard, coconut coir, and grit, and a little bit of kelp meal to get it started. So let's get them some food as well. Definitely want to give them some things that are going to make them want to jump out of these old castings and jump right into some new clean bedding. So I've got some banana peels here and maybe a couple pieces of melon to sweeten the deal. Still a little bit frozen there. I'm going to cover that up. Kind of make that into a more compact real estate here and then spread out these really wet castings so that maybe I can get a two for one and things will dry out and they will go and get out. Alright, let me go get the next bin. This is Red Wiggler bin number two and I've been trying to dry this out. I've been doing some fluffing in between videos to try and get things mixed up. I almost think that when things get too sticky and they refuse to dry out, that it probably means that maybe they went a little too far. Maybe the castings were a little too done, if you know what I mean. Like maybe they worked through it more than once. Or maybe it has something to do with the type of food I feed them. If anybody has any ideas about that, put that in the comments below as to why sometimes the castings get super sticky and really cause problems trying to dry out and then other times things just seem to go great and I don't know what the difference is. So anybody with a whole bunch of worm experience, 20 years, whatever, I've got about five years now of worm experience and this does seem to be a problem that I face every once in a while where 
I will just get a bin that is super sticky and I can't seem to do anything with it. Um, every time I try and dry it out, the castings become rock hard. Um, and it just is a pain in my butt. So we did start migrating this bin here. So let's pull off the dry castings here and see if maybe we have a worm bin or something. Or a worm bin. Of course we have a worm bin. And it's a worm bin. See if we have a worm ball. How about that? Well, we sort of have a worm ball. That looks pretty good. Red wigglers all coming together for what probably was pumpkin. Um, that was kind of a trend last time. So we have a good decent worm ball in here. So let's get, let's move all of our wormies over to one side here. And then we'll put the dry bedding that was on top all over on one side and we'll put the the wet food we're going to give them now on top of there. Apparently this is not as well thought out as I thought it was. But we're going to put this over on the side that doesn't have that many worms. Give them a, a good amount of that melon. I'll put below how long it's been since we've taken a look in on these guys. Let me get some bedding to top this off. Okay. Get that and cover that up pretty good over here. There we go. And then I'm going to kind of flatten these guys out and hopefully the, this will continue to dry. Alright, let me go get the last Red Wiggler only bin. Alrighty, this is bin number one. And we had started pulling out castings previously, but not all the way. So this seems to be completely devoid of worms, which is great. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull these out right now. Love it when a plan comes together. All oh, the wormies ran away. Hopefully they've run away to the... Oops. Nope. Get back over there. Hopefully they've all run away to that part with the food. Alright. So let's kind of peel off this dry part here. Like I said, I have been leaving the lids off because I've been having a problem with things getting too wet and being sticky. i got a nice couple of uh, cocoons right here in the middle. Let's see if I can pick them up and show them to you. There's one that is very close to being done and one that's pretty new. Alright, I'll put that over there. Again, springtails are running rampant in here. Get the big chunks out. Oh look, wait. Check it out. And it just kind of turns into a paste. Isn't that crazy? Things that are just like hard as a rock and then the next thing you know they're just mush. And it looks like the worms are getting into the mango pit to eat. Oh, they love that. So if you like this series where there is um, three different bins at different stages of development, uh, let me know in the comments below if you like to see the different stages of development all together at the same time when you're looking at a bin that has exactly the same dimensions with the same worms, being fed the same food with the same um, food, bedding, all that business. And while you're at it, why don't you give it a muddy thumbs up? And if you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. If you want to know what I'm doing, what I'm doing it, you know about the bell icon. Okay, so we're still looking here. I'm not really seeing a worm ball, but well, I take that back. We are seeing a worm ball. I don't know if you are, but I am. There's the worm ball. So that's good. Good worms. Being cute for the camera. You can usually count on the red wigglers if you can count on anybody to be cute for the camera. Okay, that's fabulous. So let's just keep them moved over a little bit. And I think with all this dry bedding, I think there's enough bedding for right now that we can go ahead and feed them up. So 
So we've got the rest of that melon. Seems like we might have gave the other bins more food. So let me go see if I've got some more food down here. Yep, sure do. Got some papaya and some banana. So there we go, papaya and banana in addition to that melon. So that's pretty much the best food. These worms should be super happy about it, but I am going to bury it deeper now that I'm looking at things. Yeah, we don't we don't want to start the uh, gnat apocalypse over again. We just got over it. Well, we're not completely out of it yet. I still see some flying around. But we're going to not so much migrating these, but I'm just going to try and get that to get completely moisturized and, and whatnot. Now these red wigglers have their own playlist which I'm going to link for you over there if you want to watch them from the beginning. They started as 500 cocoons in 2019 and if you want to see what we did last time I will link that video over there. Alright guys thanks for hanging out with me and my worms and everybody have a good day.